You know, a lot of people talk about racial prejudice, and some people have gone so far as to say that there are actually two Americas, one black and one white. But talk is cheap. So I decided to look into the problem myself, firsthand, to go on the ground and actually experience America as a white man. Before I even worked with Arthur or Ted, I, I worked at Saturday Night Live doing some of their film bits every once in a while. Actually, it was a lot of fun. But it was weird in that they would show me the material and I would get a half-inch tape and I'd go home and I'd do a paper edit of the materials because everything they did was online. Finally, I was ready. <laughs> Mr. White was the night, it was Eddie Murphy's return to Saturday Night Live after being in 48 Hours. He had left the cast. And this, as far as I can tell, is the first time he ever used makeup as a way of telling a story. Uh, which is now kind of what it, he's famous for, probably. So. so I would go in and I'd have this piece of paper with all the cuts and the producers at Saturday Night Live would be freaked out. <laughs> it was like no one ever d did that. What are you doing? I'm buying this newspaper. That's all right. There's nobody around. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Slowly I began to realize that when white people are alone, they give things to each other for free. The way they edited it is that they, they would do like a cut and then everybody would have a discussion and then you'd do another cut and everybody would have a discussion. So, I got in there and I was like 15 or 20 cuts into the piece before anybody realized that I was actually putting the movie together and it created like a bit of a stir at first. There was only one other black man on the bus. He got off on 45th Street. was not designed. This scene was not designed. That scene was, sh they shot a lot of that stuff, but it was not, they weren't looking at monitors saying this is gonna happen here and this is gonna happen here. It was, this was definitely a drop in the editing room situation. And, and, and one of the things that I really feel strongly about in this scene, which I talked a little bit about earlier in Penn & Teller, is that I was a sound editor when I first started uh, doing this. And sound's really important to me in terms of how a scene works. And I think you can hear in that, in that particular scene, like all the overlapping and, and, and ways of keeping the scene alive and using music in the right kinds of places and the rhythm of it. T to me, it's sort of a complete scene in, in, in all those ways. Well, I learned that we still have a very long way to go in this country before all men are truly equal. But I'll tell you something. I got a lot of friends. And we've got a lot of makeup. So the next time you're hugging up with some really super groovy white guy, or you met a really great, super keen white chick, don't be too sure. It might be black. 